What's up, guys? This is Val Camera from Dreamlight. So I've got, I'm going to be talking about using HDRI images and specifically the issue we have with using DOF because uh, when you use these backgrounds and you use them without the DOF, you end up perfect, right? But when you use DOF, the entire background is blurry. So you can, I mean, you can zoom in with the camera. I'm going to show you how to do that, but that limits then how you can use it. I'm going to show you how to get the best of both worlds, okay? How to maintain the DOF effect and still have um, the feet or the, the background sharp when in, where it kind of needs to be sharp, all right? So I'm using here Vicky in the scene, Katarina with a uh, piano here, and I'm also using take a look at the iRay tab here um, using dimension theories um, HDRI background uh, the one called Maui all right from dimension theory really excellent one love it so when we just render this as it is right now let me just do that through the camera let me just check the settings. I'm gonna just click on render. All right. All right, this being the sharp version, uh, the camera is not using any DOF. You can pretty much see that everything is working out pretty perfectly here. She's standing on the ground, uh, shadows fall perfectly, and all just matches perfectly, okay? So, let me now go let me actually go ahead and save this as a render. It's not finished yet. It's a little bit noisy here, but it's it's gonna it's okay to prove the point. I'm gonna save the last render. So I'm just gonna call it sharp. There we go. Now I'm gonna show you what happens when we add a DOF to our camera. So channel. Had the wrong camera selected. Let me just select cam one. There we go. All right, so uh, we got your depth of field on. I'm just gonna do a simply left view. Let's see, right. Let's do take top. And I'm gonna just adjust the focal distance to place the red line approximately where her head is, right? And I'm gonna enter a value of, let's say, 15. The lower the value, the more blurry the background and foreground. Okay, so it's gonna be a pretty dramatic effect. All right, so I'm gonna go in here and I'll do another render. So this time around, it's gonna turn out really blurry. This time we'll want the camera to uh, keep Vicky in focus, but the background to be a little bit blurry, okay? So let's see how this turns out. All right, and as you can see, uh, we have Vicky perfectly in focus, and we have the background, uh, unfortunately the entire background completely blurred, which is great in some parts of the image, but not so much on the ground, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can use uh, DOF inside Dastrium. And I wanna show you a trick, uh, which I'll actually never show to anyone. So this is gonna be kind of cool. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna just quickly go ahead and save this. And just save. All right. So obviously what you can do, you can always zoom in so that you don't actually see the ground, right? So when you just remove the ground out of the equation, let me just... Now obviously this limits a little bit how you frame uh, the image, right? It limits you because you cannot show the feet or shoes. 
uh, interact with the ground when using a DOF effect. So this time around we are we are moving walking around that the issue we have by removing the floor. And as you can see, because we took away the the issue, the ground out of the equation, we don't really see uh, the error, right? But how can we show the ground and still get this DOF effect? Well, that's what I'm going to show you right now. All right, so I got my two renders here, the sharp and the blurry one. I'm going to load them both. This is the sharp. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blurry one and I'm going to hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and I'm going to switch to this one, the sharp one, and hit Control V. Use Command on the Mac, of course. Now, between these two now, uh, there is no difference whatsoever on Vicky. They only differ when it comes to the background, right? But you can add a mask here and add a gradient to that mask and select, make the floor uh, sharp up to this level and then switch smoothly into, oops, the other way around. All right, this is kind of cool. So now you got, um, so now you're showing partially through the, uh, the bottom layer, the sharp one. So she's standing on the ground, which is sharp, and then we are smoothly fading away to a more DOF background, but she is not, you know, touched whatsoever. So this is the b best of two worlds. You got a cool, beautiful DOF effect, and you have DOF. Um, without interfering with the ground. So you can keep the ground, you can maintain the ground, the the illusion of the ground, I mean HDRI doesn't really have a ground, it's just an illusion, but it works just perfectly when you blend those two layers together. So next time just do two renders and blend them together like that. And you got a beautiful, I can just create a little bit more tension in the image here so I can see it more clearly what just happened there all right that's it hope you find this uh, trick cool uh, thank you for watching if you want some more cool tricks click the link below and view my Daz Dreamlight store with ton of iRay and lighting tutorials all right keep tweaking and as you next time